Hey you guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're an oldie but goodie, welcome back. So in today's video, I'll be doing an updated handbag, high-end handbag collection. Um, I have not did one of these handbag collection videos in a very, very long time. The last time I believe I did one of these videos was in February 2019. So I am very, very much so overdue. So this collection will be more so, I guess so, an update of my collection for 2020, since we are currently in 2021 and it's only January so yes so I'll be discussing all of my current um high-end handbags where I got them from um I may discuss the price and yeah like if I use them um, still to this day frequently or infrequently but before we even get started to this good old video go ahead and click that red button down below join the temp campaign and let's go ahead and get started to this good old collection oh, okay. I have a variety of handbags now compared to my last video I have not been crazy in my purchases lately which good job for sis because my last video in 2019 all of those handbags was actually purchased in one year okay so I don't have that many handbags per se that I actually purchased last year um I do have a lot of like maybe lower end handbags and accessories, which I would do a um, another video on that specifically. But this video is just specifically dedicated to the high end designer handbags, okay? So let's get started. So I am not gonna go into any type of specific order or anything like that because I do have a variety of handbags this time. I do not just only have Gucci and Louie. A girl just, you know, upgraded just a little bit. But, um, so yeah. So the first bag, which is my Pride and Joy My Baby, which I really need to give her a rest. This is my Gucci um, Marmont Matta, let's say, handbag. This is the size mini. They have this in two different sizes. They have the mini and the small. And the small one is a little bit bigger than this. It's kind of like a little awkward shape. But I got the mini. And I actually purchased this one, I want to say, in 2018. I think 2018 I actually did a full review on this video but I love this handbag I really need to like give it a break I really do I keep saying I, I, I do but it is just so like convenient and it goes with everything it's just black and nice and simple with the gold the old gold hardware and I noticed that I wear it a lot because like I said I bought this in I believe 2018 and because I wear it so much the chain here where it hooks onto the purse is actually starting to show like the wear and it's starting the gold is starting like to disappear so it's starting to show a little bit of silver there even on this side so I do need to give this bad boy a rest now I actually wore this one today y'all and I'm saying I need to give it a rest I still got stuff in here but yeah so so my next handbag this is my another bag now I don't wear her too much I need to y'all but this is my Speedy 30 in the print the Damier Abin. Y'all, I feel like I haven't said these names in so long because I have not purchased these brands that often. This is a very, like, it's a nice size for me. Sometimes, um, depending on what I'm doing, it might be a little bit too big. Because obviously it's bigger than my face. But it's really, it can hold a whole lot of stuff. Now, if you do decide to get this, I highly suggest getting a bag organizer, which I do have inside of here. And I still have some leftover stuff in here, y'all. I just need, I need to clean out all my bags. A bag organizer, because this bag, honestly, will be an empty pit if you do not have this. A black hole, and you do not want to have that. So you want to have a little bit of organization. And this is the bandolier version, so it has straps. I don't know where my, oh, okay. I was about to say, y'all, I don't know where my straps at, but. My straps are in this bag. I always keep them in the bag. Yeah, so that is the Speedy 30 in the Bandelier version. So, yeah. So, this next handbag, y'all, I have not wore this in forever, y'all. Me doing this video honestly made me realize how I need to really start doing my bags in rotation because some of these babies have been collecting dust, okay? Especially this one. Um, This is my, what is this, Toiletry 20... 26. This is the Louis Vuitton um, Toiletry 26, I believe. That's how long it's been since I've worn it, y'all. So long. This is the actual vintage one. This is not a newer one at all. They don't even have like the, um, y'all, it's been so long since I even touched it back. I don't even know like the, the terminology no more. This is so sad. <laughs> um, 
but the um the lining of the bag is actually not there i'm not sure if it was like that from the get-go but the newer ones actually have like the glazing on it now it came to me okay it's getting a little refreshed child i haven't been in the store that you know often but um so yeah so this is the older one and like the older one they have it's i guess this is like a leather um, lining is brown but the newer ones actually have like a it's not a suede but it's like a cream lining in the inside but yes this is the toiletry 26 the next handbag that i have which is also one of my favorites that i need to low-key put down a little bit and rotate some other bags this is my gucci um belt bag and i actually got this one from livermore california the outlet y'all this was like 400 something dollars super duper affordable compared to whatever the original price was so this is not like the coated canvas material that they currently have in stores this one has no coating on it so it's just the plain fabric so one thing i definitely watch out for whenever i do with this bag is just to make sure i do not spill any type of um colored anything on here because I do not want to deal with any type of cleaning issues when it comes to handbags. So with this one, pretty good, but yes. So I got this one from Livermore, California. Now with this one, where did I get this one from? Oh, I got this one from San Jose. And then I got this bad boy. I actually got this one from an eBay seller, which I did get authenticated from Pro Authenticators, which they are very great with authenticating um, Louis Vuitton handbags. And then this one, I actually got from just the online Louis Vuitton store, so nothing special. <laughs> so the next handbag that I have, y'all, I have not worn this bag in like, I don't know, probably 2019, y'all. But this is the favorite MM, y'all, in the monogram prints. Y'all, me just holding it, I'm like, sis, why have you not worn this bag? I mean, like, come on now, let's get it together. But yes, the um, favorite MM, y'all, this is a nice crossbody bag. Um, and if you want, you can actually just remove the strap, which, I mean, I don't really see why anyone would do that. But, um, you can wear it, like, as a little clutch if you do want to, if you want to remove the strap. Because they do have a chain in here that I don't really like to hook on here. But once you hook it on, you can wear it like a little shoulder bag if you like. But yes, y'all, this one is so pretty, y'all. I need, okay. This one is something that I need to really put back into rotation because... Yeah, sis need to see daylight, okay? Like, I mean, god damn. So, this newer bag that I actually have. Now, I cannot remember the name of this bag. So, let me see if the paper is in here. Let's see here. What is this? This is the, this is my only St. Laurent handbag. This is the St. Laurent. This is the Lou belt bag in the quilt in the black. And it has the black hardware for the YSL here. And it also has a cute little tassel at the end. Here now, I wore this bag, I want to say like two or three times. I actually purchased this bag from Essence. If you have not seen my previous videos about Essence, I love Essence. Um, But this is the only handbag that I actually purchased from them. They had a big sale and I actually got this handbag. I want to say, how much did I get this handbag for? I want to say 700 and something, something like that. But y'all, it was actually $300 off because the regular price, I believe, is like nine something or a thousand. It's, cr it's something crazy, but um, I know for sure, like I saved almost $300. I know $700 still sounds like a lot, but I don't care. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this is super duper cute, but yeah, nice and sleek. It actually reminds me of my Gucci mini Metalipsy handbag, so, yeah. So, the next handbag I have, this is the Gucci toiletry handbag. Well, this is technically not a handbag, neither is the Louis Vuitton Toiletry 26, but sis, I use it as a handbag, whatever. So this is the Gucci Toiletry bag. Now this one actually is a coated canvas. Like I said, the other one, this felt bag is not coated. If you can see, this one has like a sheen to it. This one does not. But yeah, so y'all, I watched my last video, my last handbag collection video, and I told myself in the video that I have not worn this handbag since I don't freaking know when. And like I said, that video was made in 2019. It's 2021, y'all. I have not worn this bag since I even mentioned it in that last video. Part of me is sitting here like, sis, okay, now it literally been almost two years since that last video and you still have not pulled it out of the house. You should sell it. 
But then again, I, I just feel like if I was to sell this handbag, that's when I'm a warning. And at this rate, Gucci and they, you know, increasing their prices. I, I just might as well just keep the damn bag. Because if I want it again, I don't want to pay more than what I originally paid. So, <sighs> y'all, this is literally brand new. It just, it's sad. <laughs> so, we're going to just move on to the next bag, girl. We don't even need to talk about this one no more. One day, I will make a decision on if I should keep it or not. But it ain't going to be today. Now, this next bag. This is my Pratt and Joy baby, okay? This is actually my very first, my very first luxury handbag purchase, y'all. Mm -hmm. This is the, uh, my baby, the Keep All 45 in the monogram print. Y'all, actually, this is a vintage handbag. This bag is like, I don't know, 40 years old at this point or high 30 years old. I actually got this also from eBay for a really great price. I think I got it for like... I want to say 500 and something, something like that. And I got it authenticated. When they told me, yes, it's authentic, I said, oh. <laughs> yes, so I also got it authenticated by a pro authenticator. Um, I got my name, well, my initials hot stamp at the Louis Vuitton store in Sacramento. And that's one way that I also knew that at least this part, you know, was real too, because they don't, they will not hot stamp any piece that is not real okay even this okay so when they have stamped it and with no problem i say yes baby we are authentic um but this is also in the bandolier version so i like to use it specifically for traveling you know just to carry it on my shoulders when i'm walking through the airport and stuff like that but this is a nice carry-on bag any nice size for me the 45 size i don't i wouldn't really go any higher than this maybe like a 50 but i wouldn't go as far as like the 55 and a 60 that's wait i think they have a 60 i don't know if i'm making something uh, but 55 60 that's pushing it for me and the size 40 is just weird looking size so it's either a size 30 for a handbag or the 45 for a carry-on bag so this baby is in just such beautiful condition y'all hopefully i can keep it long enough to pass it down to my my fellow babies you know what i'm saying male or female okay because this is definitely a unisex handbag so another handbag that i have it's not necessarily a handbag it's more of an a accessory um piece but i use it sometimes as a handbag especially like if i'm just going somewhere for like a quick little run but this is the Louis Vuitton mini pochette. The fact that I could not think of this thing and I was on a serious hunt for this damn bag. When I actually got this bag, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could say I purchased it online in a sense, but um, my essay here in New Orleans was able to find it in Atlanta, which they shifted from Atlanta to here. So I don't know if I would say I got it from Atlanta or just from online, but either way, is here but i love this bad boy y'all this piece right here this is a hard to find hard to get type of piece y'all and when you get it you better keep it and that's that because this bad boy people are paying like double the price just for this little bitty thing okay but i like it it's a nice collector's piece for sure a nice little catch-all bag if you do want to use it as just a regular bag to put like your wallet lip gloss all of that little knickknacks in here or you can actually just throw it into like your purse so yeah and they have this little thing here that you can actually use as a wristlet you can actually just unclip here and put it on here and just use it as like a little wristlet like that if you want but yeah so this that is the mini pochettes my baby so the very last designer handbag or the high-end designer bag that i actually have this is the fendi baby this is my only fendi piece that i have this is the fendi montreza not really sure know if i'm pronouncing it right y'all but you know i'll put everything down in the description box as well as on the screen but this is a bucket bag y'all i love me some bucket bags i don't know what it is about bucket bags but i love them so this is a drawstring bucket bag and you can also wear a top handle i do have these straps tucked in here but you it's a pretty long strap it's not too much adjustable oh yeah it's not you can't adjust it really too much if anything but it's okay because the how it originally comes it fits me perfectly this handbag is the most expensive handbag out of all of my bags I say this is the, the tiniest bag one of the tiniest bags this one costs way more y'all this one costs two thousand dollars <laughs> whatever i got it for my birthday last year i really wanted it so i don't care i don't really care about none of the damn prices of these handbags because that's 
I feel like whatever. But yes, this is Bay. I only wore her, I think, two or three times. Because she's just so delicate, y'all. I just do not want to mess her up, y'all. She is just so cute. Okay, we twins. But yes, so this is the Fendi handbag. I don't really like too many things with Fendi. So this, when I seen this, I said, oh yeah, sis got to get. So I got it for my birthday. So that completes my entire collection, my 2020 collection of my high-end designer handbags for 2020 even though we're in 2021 so if you did enjoy this good old video go ahead and give this video a nice thumbs up and if you do have any of these handbags yourself go ahead and let me know down in the comment box below don't forget to hit that red button down below join the tam cam fam subscribe to sis and hit that bell button so you can be notified every time i post a new video bye guys